Kevin Kuhlman has been a pilot for the past 40 years. Since 1979. And has just one rule when it comes to flying planes. Aviate, navigate, communicate. Do it in that order with the top priority, aviating. Kuhlman is the associate chair of the Aviation and Aerospace Science Department at Metro State University of Denver. And with the recent groundings of some Boeing 737 MAX 8s, we decided to ask him, what exactly is an airplane stall? And instead of the air flowing smoothly over the top of the wing, uh, if it gets up too high, it'll come over, but it'll create turbulence back here. And that turbulence will grow from the back of the wing, the higher you bring it towards the front of the wing. And eventually that's when you see the nose break. And that's called a stall. The Max 8s are equipped with an automatic safety feature that points the nose down to prevent a stall, making it difficult for some pilots to control the plane's vertical speed. Yeah, I can turn that off. I can lower the nose, which has already happened. I can start to add power, and I can slowly come back to level flight as I add the power with a, an over dependence on the automation, that's when you can run into issues. Kuhlman says even though a regional jet is greatly different than flying a commercial aircraft, he says they both have their similarities. By and large, they're all going to have the same capabilities to disengage an autopilot, to override an, a pitch down that you didn't expect. It's a lesson Kuhlman wants to make sure his future pilots know. Now I'm flying the aircraft. Before they land their first job in aviation. A pilot's got to be a pilot, and you've got to fly the airplane. It's the number one rule. In Denver, Byron Reed, 9 News.